got you down. Hold on to me, brother. I'll be here when you need. Cause there's a brighter tomorrow. This I truly believe. Cause everything, yeah, everything is gonna be alright. Everything, yeah, everything is gonna be Hey, so Dr. Elvis Francoise joins us from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And Dr. William Robinson joins us from home. Hey, y'all. Welcome to The View. How Thanks are you? for coming. Thank you so absolutely, much. Absolutely, absolutely. What a, here, it's an honor to join you all here today. An absolute honor. For sure. Well, we are honored to have the two of you now. Uh, Elvis and William, you two started performing together almost two years ago. How did that come about, and why Why did it come about? How did it happen? Elvis and I really got to know each other five years ago when we started our orthopedic surgery residency and were fast friends. And uh, about two years ago, we were both on call uh, for one of our orthopedic trauma call shifts. And uh, he came up to me with this song, that had a great message of hope and perseverance and asked me if I could put together a little piano accompaniment for it. And we sat down at one of the shared pianos in the lobby of our hospital and recorded it and put it on the internet. And then as you know, the internet did its thing and um, we're just really humbled that uh, it touched so many people. Uh, Dr. Francois, I hear that you are the son of Haitian immigrants, so sac passé. Sac passé, la sac passé, la It's always good to hear a, a fellow Haitian on the line. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and your father is a cab driver here in New York City. Your mom is a nursing assistant, and you say that your love of singing came from church. Yeah, you know, for me, um, growing up, no one in my family really uh, uh, sang well. My dad, he's he's tone deaf, and he'll tell you himself he's one of the worst singers uh, in the family. But um, for me, like, whenever we'd go to church, he would always find meaning in song. And for me, I've always gravitated towards music that I had some sort of substance and meaning to it, and I think... Uh, for me, um, if, if uh, I could share anything uh, as far as it goes with music, sharing m music that has meaning and uh, uh, a message behind it is, is something I'm very, very passionate about. Uh, William and Elvis, first, I just want to say that uh, when my dad was diagnosed with brain cancer and had his entire treatment, it was done at Mayo Clinic. And I think it's the most incredible hospital and the most incredible doctors and nurses. And I just want to say thank you to you both for working for such an incredible institution. And I have loved this video so much. I sent it to so many of my friends. And Elvis, you have said that your videos have reached and inspired people all over the world. So can you tell us about the response that you have received? Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, the, the most amazing part, of, part about all of this is realizing that a little bit of good and a little bit of uh, positivity can, can literally go across oceans and, and uh, across the world. This is the first time that in, a, in an entire generation where we're all facing the same problem. It's a global issue that we're all facing. And, you know, to get messages from, from healthcare providers in Italy, from patients in, in France, from, uh, you know, colleagues in New York, it's been, it's been amazing. And, you know, especially for, for, you know, with the amount of uncertainty and uh, uh, fear that's going on in the world, uh, music is, is something that we all relate to. And I think that is one property that I think, you know, Dr. Robinson and I can agree. Um, it bringing people together uh, as a reminder that the only way we get through this is together as one. And um, that's been the most amazing, amazing part about sharing music and its impact across uh, borders across the world.